you noticed what I was doing here, but the, um, what I want to play, uh, talk about here in this video is uh, this inside technique and the outside technique. And what I'm talking about here, if you don't know by now, is that some people refer to playing. I want to. Um, uh, I want to. I'm working on the D and the G string, D and the G string in this video. So just to um, make it easier, um, we're gonna work. Uh, I'm gonna refer to these two strings in this video. Um, so uh, in the, in the outside situation, I play and a downstroke on the D string and an upstroke on the D string, where uh, and the the opposite would be an upstroke on the D and a downstroke on the D string. And what I'm, what I wanted to uh, show you uh, here in this video is that when you play the inside picking technique, you have a bigger chance of playing a cleaner technique as opposed to the outside. And the reason for this is that when I go into the G string after playing the D string using an upstroke on the G. Um, what I do is I let go of the D string with my pinky here and the reason for this is because I want to avoid this. I want to play a scale. So to, to, be, uh, to avoid the, that sound I want to let go but still of course have, have a little bit of contact to the D string whether that be the pinky or the, 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 the palm here. So, but what happens is then that the D string moves up and the G string is pressed down to the fret and when the, the D string moves up, I want to, and not necessarily, not because <coughs> the D string is moving up, but after playing an up stroke on the D string, I want to play a down stroke on the D string. But the problem here is that I let go of the D string to avoid the, the simultaneous string, string noise. Um, then the string moves out from the guitar, so the curve that I need to, work, uh, to play in order to be able to play a downstroke on the D string without hitting the D string of the, on the up movement is kind of is relatively big. And I hear a lot of also really great guitar players uh, playing this uh, where they hit this on the on the up. So they actually get two strokes on the D string, no, like this. And when you, of course, when you play fast, the chances are that you don't hear it that much. But if you want a really clean sound, which I guess that you do if you like shred guitar. Uh, you, you really want to work on that curve. So, but um, the reason that we're talking about is that when you play the inside technique, you, you are playing a downstroke on the G string. And since you play a downstroke on the G string, you want to play an upstroke when you go back to the D string, if that's what you're doing anyway. So, but the thing, the cool thing about it is that the curve that you need to do to get back to the D string doesn't have to be, be as big as when you play the outside picking because the G string is pressed down and in that same second or millisecond you're going back to the D string. That then the the amount of millimeters that the G string is pressed down would be is a little bigger or smaller. Um, if you understand what I mean. So I don't have to make such a big curve here with my with the pick to in order to get a cleaner sound. And that's and that's great, but if you want to be able to play a full scale without getting that noise, you really want to work on your outside picking. That thing here without getting that. And it doesn't matter really which technique you are, uh, or a lick, specific lick or anything like that, that you use for, for this. Um, the thing is just that you need to work on that big curve. And of course, it's just um, a matter of, uh, of, of uh, the theory in it. Um, it's not just a matter of theory, of the, that make no sense. But, but, but of course, I need to do a bigger curve when I play outside picking because the D string will be a little lifted 
um, so it do, needs to do a bigger curve and doing a bigger curve fast will take a lot of uh, um, a really really perfect technique so that outside picking needs a lot of attention for you and I um, also want to share this story with you um, that I I had um, students who said told me that they, uh, they their problem was the inside picking and um, but when I listen when I listen close, I can hear that they they share the problem of um, of the outside picking um, situation, and so so uh, my um, my explanation to this is just they're still relatively new, so that fast alternate picking is just you know it's a, it's a ever it's um, a, a technique that you need to work on just like forever uh, as long as you play you want to play fast alternate picking like sweet picking actually if you want to play it clean and fast so um, what I'm saying here is that you need to drill that technique more than you drill the inside um, to, if you want to clean up your sound and um, also the other thing I said also it's not really relevant in, with a specific you don't need to find a specific um, a lick or lesson um, for playing the in the uh, the outside technique that could be anything it could be a scale it could just be two random notes that you go between so that you drill this specific movement and in 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 order to avoid going crazy with uh, something like this it, it might be fun to well to to use maybe a uh, uh, part of a scale or something like that too so it could be just be this uh, or uh, whatever it doesn't have to be that uh, aldimiola kind of thing um, it could be anything really as long as you go between the two strings let me just zoom in here on on the pick show so that you can get some uh, so you can see what I'm talking about actually okay so when I play the outside technique you can see that when I let go of the D string going up to play the G string moving back again you can see that the D string moves out a little bit from the fretboard again which makes our problems bigger um, because we need to make this curve play up and then down here even bigger than if we play the downstroke. You can see when I play the D string here and I go back to the D string, my G string is pressed in to the fretboard, you know. So the amount of space that is between the, the, the pick and the, the string can be um, I can make a smaller curve so we need to practice this whatever you want to play and you really want, need to watch out for this sound hope you can hear it let me, let me clean up the sound and see if that helps a little bit so if that this helps I hope you can hear this and this is what you want instead and it's not easy you need to really really to perfect the technique to be do a curve big enough to avoid the D string or whatever string it is that you are going to play an up uh, downstroke on after playing an upstroke on a higher string. Uh, other than that, I want to, of course, tell you that uh, you can get the free program "Get Extreme Technique" by clicking the, li the link uh, uh, under the video, and uh, you can download the program and a free ebook ebook as well.